The uh, Xiaomi 15s Pro definitely has an important spot in the history of uh, Chinese smartphones. Not that its uh, camera is exceptionally powerful or the uh, screen is incredibly good, but simply because the uh, SoC inside is uh, Xiaomi's best and self-developed processor. I believe everyone is also curious, compared to other flagship processors, what can the uh, x ray one bring us and uh, what might be less competent? By uh, comparing to the sibling, the uh, 15 Pro, a uh, phone with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite, we can clearly see where the uh, x ray ones CPU, GPU, NPU, and uh, ISP stand on the uh, global stage. And also, those of you who are interested in this phone, don't forget to uh, check the uh, link below the video. Even as a uh, collector's item, it's a great choice. To understand the performance of the x ray one we must check the inside first. This is the die shot of the x ray one Thanks to the TSMC's N3E process, this chip achieves a remarkably high level of integration. Compared to other Flexor SoCs, this die area is even smaller. However, the trade-off is that the modern is not integrated into the chipset. The x ray one uses a standalone MediaTek T800 modern chipset instead of Xiaomi's in-house T-series modern. After all, it even took 6 years for a giant like Apple to have its first 5G modern, so uh, Xiaomi still has a long way to go in the 5G modern race. The CPU unit sits on the upper half of the die shot. It features 10 cores across 4 different ARM architectures and clock speeds. Apart from their two A520 cores, all others use ARM's latest and most advanced architectures. The CPU's peak frequency can reach an impressive 3.9 GHz. The GPU unit is also unusually large, packing a 16-core ARM G925 GPU, even more ridiculous than the uh, Dimensity 9400's 12-core GPU. Benchmark tests reveal the uh, x ray one's CPU performance slightly outperforms the uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite while its GPU falls short just a tad than the 8 Elite. On paper alone, the x ray one already has what it takes to uh, compete with Apple, Qualcomm, and MediaTek, but whether it can truly win depends on real-world gaming tests. For the 15S Pro, we prepared three games to test the overall experience and power efficiency under different workloads. Let's start with the highest load game, Honkai Star Rail. Although the processor begins throttling after 4 minutes, the frame rate gradually drops to 40 FPS and stabilizes, resulting in a relatively smooth game experience. Both temperature and power consumption are well controlled, placing it firmly in the excellent category. In contrast, the 15 Pro's performance falls short. Whether in average power consumption, temperature, or frame rate, it fails to outperform the extreme powered 15S Pro. I believe Xiaomi has optimized this game specifically for the 15S Pro, with the x ray one playing a key role in delivering such a substantial improvement in a gaming performance. For our flagship phones, Genshin Impact is no longer a particularly demanding game. Both devices handle it effortlessly at a stable 60fps over extended sessions. Our focus here is on my power efficiency and thermal performance. Once again, the 15S Pro wins, it can maintain similar frame rates while running cooler and more efficiently. The same trend continues in PUBG Mobile, almost the same result. With the Wi-Fi, the x ray ones power and thermal management are truly world-class, offering slightly better gaming performance than the uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite. So why I say with the Wi-Fi? Because the uh, x ray one lacks an integrated 5G modem. Since the 15S Pro's modem is a chipset separate from the SoC, its power consumption on 5G networks is inevitably higher than devices with integrated models. But exactly how much higher? I ran some tests. Under the same conditions, when switching from Wi-Fi to 5G gaming, the 15S Pro's average power consumption was higher than the 15 Pro's. I also tested daily apps like a video calls and a TikTok on 5G networks. The 15S Pro's power consumption was consistently higher too. So when people ask me about the Xiaomi 15S Pro's battery life, I can only say it depends on your user's environment. If you're mostly in a Wi-Fi environment, then the 15S Pro's battery life will outperform the 15 Pro's. On the contrary, when going from 100% to empty on 5G networks, the 15S Pro's battery life lasts about half an hour shorter than the 15 Pro's. The x ray ones ISP significantly impacts the camera performance, both positively and negatively. Let's start with the positives. 
The most improved camera on the 15S Pro is this uh, 5X telephoto camera with a very accurate white balance and the weaker the light, the greater the advantage. The main camera's dynamic range is also better, there are more details in highlights. Video are sharper with less cropping, so the image stabilization becomes weaker. In low light, the 15S Pro's exposure will be higher. At 30fps, it may not be very noticeable. When switching to 4K 60fps, you can clearly see the X-Ring's advantage. Unfortunately, the 15S Pro's Leica tone has been weakened again with not as high contrast. And the green problem in night scene has also appeared on the 15S Pro's ultra-wide camera, while the 15 Pro's white balance is done very well. The viewfinder also underexposes in a low light, and the clarity drops significantly. I would say the O1's eye speed isn't as powerful as imagined, it still needs some time to defeat Qualcomm. Music lovers may worry about the aptx related Bluetooth protocols not being available on the 15S Pro. Xiaomi certainly wouldn't disappoint earbuds users, they've licensed nearly all mainstream Bluetooth protocols. Whatever works on the Xiaomi 15 Pro will be the same on the 15S Pro too. The x ring 01 features a 6-core MPU with a 10MB cache, delivering computing power up to 44 tops. Although this MPU is powerful, Xiaomi hasn't utilized it for many features. Xiaomi Hyper AI still can't work offline. All AI-related functions become unavailable without internet connection. Even when trying to benchmark this MPU's AI performance improvements, scores are low due to apps not being optimized for this new chipset. Hopefully, the Hyper AI will be significantly better on the X-Ring O2 and truly unleash this MPU's full potential across more apps. While carefully testing whether the Xiaomi 15S Pro has other special features compared to the 15 Pro, I did find some differences. For example, the 15S Pro cannot keep AOD constantly active. The ray tracing performance of X-Ring 01 also falls short of the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Using Geek One's ray tracing demo for testing, the frame rate difference is huge. However, X-Ring excels in other areas such as HDR video decoding, Wi-Fi 7 support, and GMS compatibility. These show very little difference compared to phones using Qualcomm chips. So the X-Ring O1 has undoubtedly become one of the world's most powerful mobile processors. It is excellent in nearly all aspects, with only one notable weakness, subpar battery life on 5G networks. The good news is that the Xiaomi has already developed a 4G model currently used in their smartwatches. Integrating a 5G model into X-Ring is just a matter of time. The birth of a Xiaomi 15S Pro is to show the world that the Xiaomi can develop its own chips and do it just as well as anyone else. X-Ring O2 is already on the way with a clear goal this time to become the world's number one mobile platform. The Xiaomi 15S Pro will likely not have a global release, so if you're a Xiaomi fan wanting to support the X-Ring team, Geek Wheels can help. The purchase link is below the video. Alright, this is World of Fungus from China. See you next time.